all right um so let me just adjust this all right so we have ips who does the monitoring and also blocking so this is supposed to be block not blog all right now if we have ips intrusion prevention system who can block and monitor malicious traffic we have ids and when we say ids it doesn't block it only has monitoring capabilities now how does it work well as you can see in our ips design or ips network design it's always inline how about ids inline network design yes but when the attacker sends malicious traffic the ids doesn't have blocking capability so therefore it will not block those malicious traffic or those potential attacks. All right, now for IDS, I would say you can use this design, the inline network design, but IDS is originally for a different design. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another topology, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I will also add firewalls L let me move this because i need more space let's say on the right side okay so so we have a router we also have firewall there and uh, instead of ips or ids what i'm gonna do is i will add switches so this is my Switch one, this is my switch two. There. And uh, okay, so I made a mistake. I will move this to the center. There you go. Okay, so this is our design. Now, how does how does IDS work on this specific design? All right, so let's say we have endpoints connected to our switches. I'll, I'll rename this as switch one and switch two. So in our switch one, this is where our clients connected. So we have client one, client two, client three. You can add more clients, um, but we also have servers here connected to switch two. Okay, so these are the servers there now in this type of design we have what we call the, the network tap or sometimes we call it tap port what do you mean tap port well as you can see we can collect and analyze the traffic traverses from one device to another so what I'm gonna do is I will Okay, add what we called the port tap or the network tap. Okay, so we can collect again the traffic that is bound from one switch to another switch. In this case, switch one and switch two. We can also tap the traffic from switch two to the firewall to the router. Okay, now not only that, we have what we call the span or port mirroring and this is a feature available in our switches okay so this port is a port mirror now what will happen here is this interfaces or this link will be used by our IPS excuse me IDS and what do you mean so what I'm gonna do is I will add our IDS here Okay, this is our IDS. I will collect all of these. Okay, now this IDS, I'm gonna use this color. So this IDS, um, intrusion detection system, sometimes we call it NIDS or network intrusion detection system because there is a host, okay, host IDS. We're gonna talk about that in the later videos. Sometimes this is also called network sensors. Sometimes this is also called network collectors. The reason why it's called 
network collectors because it gathers information. So I'm going to add here, it gathers information. Now, once it gathers information, it then analyze and possibly detect malicious traffic. So it can analyze and detect malicious traffic. Okay. And uh, you can also log those events or send alarm to security engineers, security administrators, etc. Now, let's talk about how IDS works in action. So let's say we have a malicious software that is already running in one of the hosts, one of the client hosts. So let's say malicious software already running here. Now, it spreads some virus or malicious traffic within the VLAN. So what will happen is it may affect this PC. It may affect this PC. So this, this is bad. But our IDS is capable of collecting this activity and analyze it and detect if there is really a malicious traffic that is sending within that network, within that VLAN, okay? This also the same if one of the servers are infected. So this is the server that is infected, okay? And it sends malicious traffic. It's trying to infect other servers. What will happen is this is also forwarded reported to our IDS. Again, it collects and gather network information and identifies if there is a malicious traffic. All right, so this is from switch one and switch two. Again, we are using port metering or span ports. Now, there is also a possibility that this guy here is trying to infect other devices from one switch to another, meaning it is sending traffic or is trying to infect this server, okay? Now, what will happen here is the IDS will still be able to detect those malicious traffic, those activity, because we have a top port sitting in between switch one and switch two. Again, this traffic is also collected. Now, how about incoming traffic from the internet? So let's say, let's say we have this attacker. It will try to send traffic to the router. Okay. And the router, let's say it accept that traffic because it's thought it's legit. Now, before it sends to the firewall, before it sends to switch to, we'll be able to collect and analyze this traffic. Okay. Uh, the firewall can also further inspect, but what if this is permitted by the firewall? That's okay. That traffic or that potential malicious traffic will still be collected and analyzed by our IDS. So how does IDS detect potential attacks? Well, it detects the potential attacks with the use of, well, it's the same. We're still using signature base and behavioral based detection. The only disadvantage is it doesn't block or prevent from malicious attack, unlike IPS. Also take note that this design has a little disadvantage. All right, so it looks good because we're able to collect network information from many different areas, but it cannot inspect encrypted traffic. Since it's not in line, it doesn't have decryption capabilities.